A bit of history between these two. Indians on the road as Cleveland goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Right here on 2K Sports. The White Sox call this one home, U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. When he is on, the ground balls are many. Fausto Carmona will make the start. Lineup for the Indians. We'll take a look, courtesy of Pepsi. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Shinsu Chu's. It is Grady Sizemore in the box now. He's going to start things off today. Center fielder, number 24, Grady Sizemore. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, lost last night for the Indians. Now in game two of this three game set, they can even up the series with a win against Chicago. The last one, they gave up way too many runs. Not good pitching. No, and their pitching just got yeah. destroyed in this game, and that was why they lost. Able to set him down there, chuck that one up as a strikeout for him. A good sequence of pitches right there using location and selection to get the strikeout. And Cabrera settles in. His lifetime average 288 against the White Sox. Swing and a soft liner up the middle. And that'll be Cleveland's first hit of the ball game. Now, now a quick look for, for this Cleveland game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Right it's going to be Laporta now. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got him at 0-1 right now. Strike and two. Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A-B. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him oh. up a little bit. And that runs too far inside. One and two. Ground ball. Creedy. It's picked up. Gets one at second. And two, they pull off the double play. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three out. And we've got Fausto Carmona out on the mound. Cleveland's got him starting in this one. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Fausto Carmona has some of the best movement of any pitcher in the major league. The problem is he can't command it. He has to focus on throwing everything down the middle of the plate and let his natural movement take it to the corners. If he starts it at the corner, he's going to fall behind in the count and get in trouble. That one lofted in the air. A oh, foul ball. Lined up the middle. And he scoops it up. And so Damon retired. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pips. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, you don't want to emulate his swing. It's not one of the prettiest swings you ever see in baseball, but it is one of the more effective ones. He's got power. He can hit for average. And when he gets on base, he's a threat to steal. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. One of the best batting averages in the league. On the way. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Made a major contribution for his club offensively in the game last night with a home run, and they love that sort of offensive production. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Base is empty with two outs. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. And that's out number three. Well, it was a quick inning right there, seven pitches. Still scoreless in Chicago. A chilly night that seems to be getting a little colder as we play on and happen to bring you our broadcast on 2K Sports. Started to go around, held up, but it's in there on one. Sin Chu Chu, not fooled by that one, and that's going to even up the count. 
Well, this guy is a classic finesse pitcher with one of the best curveballs in the league. Oh. Really bad pitch right there to ball. He's ready, Bedard, with a 2-1 pitch. And Shin Su Chu swings and misses at that one. That's going to even it up. Steve, also, the batters have to keep in mind he'll mix the fastball in once in a while, and he can really catch him on that pitch. Well, he can, but because the fastball's not overpowering, I think you have to stay back. Let the pitch come to you, and at times, look for the curve. Chu stares him down. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, he had a swing at it, two strikes, Johnny ball up and away, a good pitch to at least put the play or foul off, but couldn't quite catch up to it. And we're going to see Peralta here. Oh, and wow. Bernard has him 0-1, that one a called strike. The pitch, up the middle. What a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. And it'll be Valbuena standing in the hip. Base is empty and two down. Line softly to center field. That one gets through for a base hit. Well, after two outs, they finally got a man on board right here in the city. So let's see if they can get back-to-back -back hits going and maybe get some momentum. And Brantley's in the box. Let's see if he shows a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focused. Taps this one foul off to the left. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. Bedard gets set and delivers. Oh. Tried to get him to bite, but he lays off outside. One and two. Slider calls strike three. Side is retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. We are still without a run. U.S. Cellular Field. Leading it off, Carlos Quinn. Well, leading the league in home runs. Number 20, Carlos Quinn. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. Well, I followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. The pitch from Carmona. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Well, it's a pretty good pitch to hit right here. And he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Now he's in scoring position with just one out. And Alex Rios up. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. So Rios is set down. Now State Fire brings you this near photo finish, the American League wildcard race as we draw to a close in the season. It's the Angels in first. In second place, the Yankees. In the three hole, it's the Orioles. Fourth place, the Royals. It's the Blue Jays in fifth. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. Well, they may not win their division, but we've got a great race for the wild card here. And these teams going to duke it out to the end. And Swing and a ball hit high and deep to left field. That ball is way back there. Goodbye, a two-run homer. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Caramona's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And the home run there, Steve, the pitching's going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. Here's the delivery. 
Hot shot towards the hole. And it gets through. Keep the streak going. So, Jim, tell me, coming up, these are the hot bats right now, the highest batting average over the last 10 days, courtesy of State Farm. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list, guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate and get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. Swung on, hit down the line and left. This one into the corner, and bye-bye. That's a two-run homer. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number eight. Two outs, base is empty. Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Here's a swing and a fly ball. And one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Uh, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. A swing and a miss, Ramirez, strike one. His lifetime average, 261 off the Indians. Oh, Fausto oh. Carmona gets ahead with that pitch, and it's 0-2. It looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. You're and out. he struck him out. The side is finally retired. Striking early, big innings. The White Sox are out in front, 5 to nothing. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Bedard gets set and delivers. He sends this one in the air towards center. And it falls in there for a base hit. Time for the State Farm leaderboard. We look at the staffs that have been issuing the fewest base on balls for the month. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. The Angels third. Mariners fourth and we've got the twins who are number five. Well these teams have a clear understanding that base on balls can come back. Hit in the air to center field. That looks like a single. The runner's coming around second on his way to third. And he is safe at third ahead of that play. So up next it is Grady Sizemore. Uh, oh one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. And he misses high, but Dard can't get him to go after it. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. On the outside corner, one and one. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball, doesn't get to it, one and two. Good patience, Grady Sizemore letting that one go by for a ball and an even count. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Well, look at the tail on that ball right there. Look at the movement. 90 miles an hour. Nice pitch. And the first pitch. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Oh, he's trying to steal second. Oh! And his throw. He is out. Great throw. And the pitch is taken for a strike by Cabrera. Swung on, line softly to the right. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. No production yet from Cleveland. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. Ian taking a look at you right there. He has to be pleased with the position he's in now. Offense is cooking. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. Right there in the top five in home runs. And he starts Canerco out. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with the strike. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. 
Well, anytime you recognize. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. That one, a one hopper off the wall. He'll hold there at second base, crediting with a double. Number 20, Carlos Poynton. Now this separates the men from the boys at the plate. 0-2 count coming up with a big base hit. You got to keep battling, and that's what he did, even though that pitch was away. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. He's the league leader in Ribby. Carmona's pitch swung on and missed. 0-1. The pitch. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quentin needs to protect that strike zone. When you're already falling behind like this, you cannot continue to allow your other team to get base runners. You'll never get back into this game. Out of here, a homer and a two-run shot. And Beckham's in the box. No outs and nobody on base. Jordan Beckham. First pitch on the way. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. Right now we have our league leaders in on base percentage courtesy of State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major league. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Not a lot of room left on the schedule as we look at the Central Division race brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. Second place, the Royals. In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Well, Indians kind of doing a repeat performance from last year. You know, good effort on their part, but not quite the talent level to compete for a division title just yet. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. The pitch from Carmona. He swings on a pitch. That was in the dirt. That's a strike. Whoa. Swung on and ripped towards second. That's one. And they get two. Great double play. At the plate. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4 6 3. Now it's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are. First pitch to Creedy. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Today he'd love to duplicate what he did last day when he picked up four big base hits. Costa Carmona gets ahead with that pitch and it's 0 and 2. Well, he got a little over anxious on that last sinker and swings and misses. You're out. Joe Creedy comes up empty, a swing, no contact. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with it. It's going to be Laporta now. First base, number seven, Matt Laporta. And here's the first one. And it goes foul. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. 0-1, fastball and a call strike. Now Gary's done a nice job working around the four hits he's given up here into the fourth. And that's about making pitches, and he's done an effective job when he's had to pitch out of the stretch. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other, and he used a tremendous sequence right there. One, two. Swung on. That is hit. And Ramirez feels the ball. So Chu is retired. And now we've got a moment to see how the Indians are doing rank-wise in the American League. Fourth in triples. Sixth in doubles. And they're in the top 10 in team batting average with runners in scoring position. That's a real asset for any team. When you get runners in scoring right, position, what? hit the clutch and drive them in. Bedard gets set and delivers. Right to Peralta the takes that one. It's in there. Now he's coming off of a game last night. A little bit disappointing. A couple of strikeouts, and he just expanded the strike zone and chased pitches off the plate. You're 
out. And Johnny Peralta swinging through it is gone. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. The White Sox maintaining their lead. We're looking there at Manny Acton. This has been a test year today for him and his team. And as Jim Tomey at the plate, what a year for him. Top five in homers. Carmona's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. He delivers. Here's a swing and a fly ball. A foul ball. Starts the sinker low, winds up in the dirt. Smash towards the hole, and the play made by Laporte. Time to have a look at the league leaders brought to you by State Farm. Extra base hits. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate, and one of the top ten averages right now. Last night, a loss for the Indians. They want to even this three game series here today try and give themselves a chance to break the tie in game three against the White Sox. First pitch on the way to Damon. Well hit towards the middle. Two down here in the inning. And there's going to be more tomorrow afternoon. We'll see Torrey Hunter and the Los Angeles Angels. They find themselves at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington to take on Texas. That game is scheduled for 3 o'clock Eastern, 12 Pacific. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Great season, top 10 in RBIs. Here's the first pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Throws on to first side is retired. It goes quickly for Fausto. A chilly night that seems to be getting a little colder as we play on and happy to bring you our broadcast on 2K Sports. Bedard gets set and delivers. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. And so Valbuena is retired. The lineup's crossing home the most. We look at our state final leaderboard. Run scored over the last 10. Number one, the White Sox. The Mariners in second. In the third spot, the Orioles. Fourth spot held with the Royals. And number five, the Indians rounded out. Well, there are stretches during the season when every team struggles to score runs. But these two teams right now in these last 10 games have found a way to be able to throw runners right across two. the board. They are doing it in every single way conceivably possible. They're doing it with power. They're doing it with speed. They're complete offenses, and the pitchers better be good or else their ERA is going to skyrocket. Swing and a foul straight back. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Over to Canerco. Two away. Well, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. And it's Crow at the plate. 23 lifetime at bats, five hits off the White Sox. And here's the first one. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. That fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something soft, possibly away. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that one is in there, his second hit today. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one. Swing soft liner towards right center. And that's through a base hit. Now Cleveland, here's the chance they won. We well, don't care. I tell you what, most major league hitters would not even offer it that pitch. But this guy's one of those rare guys that absolutely loves that pitch down and in. That's why he got that hit. That one swung on its line. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. The shutout continues in Chicago. Guys again taking a look at you right there. Inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And here's Paul Canerco. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. 
The pitch from Carmona. One and and one. Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. A three for seven career batter off Fausto Carmona. That one lofted in the air. It is foul. It is that close to being gone. One two pitch coming. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Gone, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Get the bullpen warmed up right here, Gary. I mean, they're they're certainly finding the mistakes and they're driving them out of the park. These hitters have got a timing thing going with him right now. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quentin. No outs and nobody on. First pitch to Quentin. Swung and a fly ball. Oh, it's foul. The pitch from Carmona. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him out, went away. But good, great confidence right there in the stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. And the first pitch. Paramount's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. Swung on and missed behind now 0 and 2. And it goes foul. Oh! Back up the middle. And in there, three for three ball game. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. And it'll be Jensen Lewis doing the pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, if it were me, I'd leave the starter in the game. I think it's you're taking him out too early right now. I'd go to the bullpen a little bit later. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Apparently he's looking for something a lot harder than that four-seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. Uh, gets one at second. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Not a lot of room left on the schedule as we look at the Central Division race brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Two outs and a man on first. Now the first pitch. Swung out, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. That one, a one hopper off the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. Here's the pitch. Swing and a drive, deep left center. That's going to one hop off the wall. And Rios comes in, and Pierzynski comes across too, and he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Number 27, Dan. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rep at it. Nice, short, compact swing. Lewis gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, a great pitch right there. Threw him that slider and hit her just out in front of it. 
Swung early. Came up empty. Strike two. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And that's going to do it. Sizemore is there. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. As Drupal Cabrera leading it off. Shortstop, number 13, Asdrubal Cabrera. And he starts Cabrera out. On the ground to short. And Ramirez fields the ball. So Cabrera is set down. It's going to be Laporta now. Hitting 250 lifetime against the White Sox. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Damon able to pull that one in. Now State Farm brings you this near photo finish. The American League wild card race as we draw to a close in the season. It's the Angels in first. In second place, the Yankees. Orioles third place. In fourth place, it's the Royals. Blue Jays in the fifth spot. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. What a great race we have for the American League wild card. Now swinging a shot toward second. Throws to first side is retired. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got None other than Manny Acta there. The thoughts of a manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's, he's got some words for that next practice. And that's by Emo and one. There's a swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep into right field. Out of here, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, he did it again his second of the day. And now you got to wonder, can he do another one? I might get it done. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. Jensen Lewis quickly gets that count in his favor, 0-2. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. The 82 mile per hour pitch coming in flat right there. And here's Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Lewis gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. And Cabrera picks it up. And Canerco retired. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Trying it again here, just one for three thus far. Well, a complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers, I mean, this guy's doing everything today. Line shot into center field. And that's going to do it. Sizemore is there. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. Cleveland hoping for a big time turnaround. And Johnny Peralta to lead it off. 0 for 2 thus far. Johnny Peralta. Here's the pitch to Peralta. Right and Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a call strike. Look okay, here, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've gotten a few hits. Right but he's, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Oh, that one gets passed, but no damage done. The pitch hit in the air to left center and in there at least for a single as it gets down. And now I've got a moment to see how the Indians are doing rank wise in the American League. Fourth in triples, sixth in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they're in the top ten in runs scored. That offense relentless putting up runs and giving themselves a chance to win. One away. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. Now Brzezinski sets up on the ground to second. There's one. 
On to first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. And it's Crow at the plate. Two for two in the game. First pitch, here it comes. Lined right at the second baseman. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And Stevie has shut him down. And Beckham's in the box. He's a perfect three for three in the ball game. Well, they're leading in this one, Gary, and obviously the defense a major part of it. Two high quality defensive plays right there. Lewis gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Line drive. And Beckham set down. Here are the bats making the noise this past month. The State Farm leaderboard batting average. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list. Guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate. They get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. And he starts Rios out. And that's in for a strike. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Waste one there, 1-2. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Here's a swing, a fly ball deep down the line and right. And it's up against the wall. And he's in at second with the double, one out. He right, takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. Goodbye, home run, a two-run digger. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. And we've got Chris Perez out on the mound. He's coming on in relief for the Indians. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, pitcher that's trying to find his way in the big leagues, Chris Perez, he has yet to establish himself as either a dominant closer or a middle guy. He's basically a one-inning pitcher, but when he comes in, look for the radar gun to get lit up because he can get it up there in the high 90s. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Base is empty, one out. Perez with the delivery. Swing and a miss. Tomey, strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. And that's a strike. Tomey is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it. He's got no chance to hit it. Got him there. That was a nice strike. Up. You know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get a chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. First pitch on the way to Damon. Ball hit very well. Soaring into deep center field. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, he's just putting on a show now. It's not fair. Three home runs in one game. And you know, you get to this point, Steve, everybody starts thinking about the next at bat. That, can he do a fourth? Well, it's a hitting coach dream come true right here. Everybody's hitting the ball. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. But not before they strike for four runs on the strength of three home runs. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne, along with John Crunk and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch. And Bernard has him 0-1, that one a called strike. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches, and offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount the rally. They've been held scoreless here today. Here's a swing, sinking liner to left. That should be a base hit. So then will bring up Grady Sizemore. But just what his team needed, he continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And he starts Sizemore out. Foul straight back. Strike 
can't catch up with it, 0-2. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. Ball. And he watches the outside pitch from Bedard for a ball. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it You're on the out. corner and break oh, it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as cake. And one after another just kept him guessing. Well, a great four pitch at bat right there to get the hitter out. And anytime you can have quick innings and lower your pitch count, then you're going to stay longer in the game. Bedard gets set and right. delivers. And that's in there for a strike. That changeup got away from him a little bit right there, but he did get a strike out. Well. Cabrera will foul that one away. Hit in the air to center field. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance. That's a great situation for some offense. Number seven. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. Whoa. That's a solid job. Not in time. In there at third. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. Swing and a miss on a pitch out of the zone up high. One and one. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by. And another foul ball. He really tied him up and made him look bad on that one. And with that strikeout, he's just four outs away from a complete game shutout. He's so locked in. He's in the zone right now. I think he can handle it. Shin Su Chu looks to knock in a run. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think he'd catch up to it. Good decision. The pitch. And it holds at 0-2. Taps this one foul off to the left. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. They're held in check yet again, scoreless through eight innings. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Ian. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. Well, this is a good move right here. You're bringing in the better defensive player for the guy who could be a little suspect in the Whoa. outfield. Defense helps you win games. Swing and a miss. Canerco not making contact. That'll even up the count. Look at the lifetime numbers. 280 against the Indians. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And Canerco retired. That's one away. And Quinton settles in. He's had one hit four times up. Well, they find themselves ahead of this one, and obviously two big at-bats from him so far in the game, driving it around with a base hit, and then the home run, driving the ball out of the ballpark. So getting his pitches and doing some damage. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches. Up, down. See you later. He's already back on the bench. Perez with the delivery. Swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Swung on. That is hit. Oh, avoided the path of that ball. That was right up the middle. Was that ever close? So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. He doubled in his last appearance. Two outs and a man on first. And he starts Rios up. Hit hard to second. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Here's Manny Acta, the manager. He's reflecting right now, not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. 
It's hit foul by Peralta. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. And it's 0 2. Johnny Peralta in the swinging, anything close. Well, we're in the ninth. Obviously, uh, he can taste victory. He can see the finish line out in front of him, Gary. And, you know, offensively, they just have not been able to put any sort of pressure on him. Only the four runners left on Cleveland base Indians. this entire game. So Brian Number Busher will be coming up. Well, that pitch Ryan down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece wow. of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit. He grabs it off the hop. And there's two in the blue play. You have to love great defense. When it's an unbelievable effort right there. And a way to pick your team up in a critical situation. And it gets the fans into the game, too. I think fans love D. And Bradley's in the box. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Lines this one to the left side out of play. Oh. And he misses high, but Dar can't get him to go after it. Here's the pitch. Good pitch on the outside corner, one and two. A smash towards the hole. Beckham. And on that play, it comes to an end. And Steve, we get to witness one of those rare events, a shutout. He was in absolute command right from the start. Gary, game like this doesn't come about without some solid defensive play. And he had that behind him. And congratulations on the goose egg. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. Now look at our Pepsi Clutch performer, our stand-up performance deserving of recognition. Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And this team found out very early how tough this pitcher was going to be on them in this game. He's a top flight starter, but he had everything going and mowed down this lineup. And this sends a message to the rest of the league also that this guy is for real and ready to go. Then we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter. And he was able to ride that one on to victory. Oh, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today. The good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.